and welcome back to more oxygen not included. Haha. <laughs> uh, last time I was having a bit of trouble with these stupid thermal aqua tuners. Didn't really want to cooperate. I tried a couple different configurations and yeah, basically every time I tried to have something different other than this, it just kept breaking and refused to work in any way. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it with two right now. Uh, another problem I'm having is this damn thing keeps breaking. It's so hot in here that it's just literally breaking every like five seconds. And yeah, there's not really all that much I can do. And it sucks. It really does suck because I'm running out of metal. Having to repair this constantly because it keeps running itself out of metal is getting very annoying. And um, yeah, the only thing I can think of to do is I, maybe if I put like some wheeze warts in here, that might help. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe if I put like a couple layers of mesh tiles here and here and possibly right here and get some wheeze warts because I think there are some wheeze warts down here. So yeah, the last time I left it running for a little bit and just to get a bit more explored, just to get everything built and finish constructing. And I did run a ladder all the way down and they're finally getting down into here. So hopefully there'll be a few wheeze warts in this area, which I don't actually see any at the moment. But maybe once they get down into this, there might be some. Uh, let's go ahead and mop this up if we can. It's too deep. Well, crap. <laughs> no, but there is this. There is this, which means there might be another one of those stupid brain things that'll get me an extra little bit of a, there we go, an extra little bit of stuff I can do. So let's dig this up, dig this up, and hopefully everything will just flow down into here and I won't have to worry about it. Uh, and then we can hop up here and hopefully dig this up and get a ladder down into here. Like right to about right here and just dig straight in. There. At like an eight. There. And there. Whoa. No, 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 no. Cancel. I don't want all of this dug out. Uh, cancel all of this. I don't want all of this dug out. I want... Ah. I hate it when I do that. I overclick and cancel that one. And cancel this one. That way they can climb up. Okay. And all the water will be able to flow down. Hopefully. Uh, I did find something else. I found natural gas. There's natural gas pocket right here. So I also need to get into that as well. But unfortunately first, I need to figure out how I'm going to cool this damned thing off. Because what I think I want to do is if I can find some wheeze warts, I can have like the mesh tiles here with like uh, wheeze warts on top with everything cooling down around here. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that will work. I'm hoping that will work. Uh, so let's dig this stuff up. That's one, two, three, I think. Is it three? That's how high the wheeze warts are? Because that's the only thing I can think of to do. Because I don't think having, like, um, the piping system would work. Yeah, I just need it to be slightly cooler. If I can get it dropped, like, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, that would be nice. But, unfortunately, I'm not sure it's actually going to work like that. In fact, I don't even sure, I'm not even sure the wheeze warts will work. I, I don't know what to do. To be perfectly honest. Um, maybe if I let the water flow a little bit farther before it actually, like, got to the pump, had it, like, flowing on top of the, uh, wheeze warts as it flows through, that might work to help cool it down. In fact, that might be a good idea. Uh, so yeah, what's, what water line should I use? In fact, let's cancel all of this, cancel all that, and if I can have it flowing, like, across a little bit like have it right here 
So all the water is kind of like right here. So um, maybe this line right here might be good. So have a flowing like to right here. Yeah, that could work. So deconstruct that. Deconstruct this. And then rebuild it like right here. Deconstruct that. And deconstruct that. And cancel that. Cancel and cancel. And dig up all of this. There. Huh. So how deep can you have these warts? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. In fact, I don't even know if I can find Wee's warts right now. I don't know if there are any Wee's warts down there, and I won't know until we find, actually get down there to see. Uh, ah, there's one. There is a Wee's wart. So we need to get down there as well. So, right about here. So. Uh, ah, look, a Wee's wart seed. Just what I needed. And a level nine. Boom, and a boom. High priority uproot. Uh, and I think the Wee's Warts actually have a higher uh, temperature variance that they can survive in now. I mean, previously, whenever I had them in the... Uh, I think that's, that was one of the changes they made. They actually made it so they can survive in slightly hotter temperatures now. Because previously, they would just stop working. They would stop growing whenever it got too hot. So, yeah. Uh, that's just something I'm going to have to worry about. I'm just hoping. Right now, I am just hoping that that's going to work. If I just put the planter boxes right here with the Wee's warts above it, will that work? I'm not really sure. I guess we could always just check it out. See how well it works right there. <coughs> In fact, that I could just do that. Well, I don't really want to. Because if I, if I dig this out, like right there, and then, uh, maybe, that could in fact work. I mean, that, that could work, like right there, with a couple tiles, like right here. And right here for a couple of these warts. That way the water will have a slim little area to flow through. Uh, it could work. I, I'm hoping it will work. If it doesn't work, then I need to prioritize this at a nine. There. There, there, and there. Okay. Now at least the water's flowing down. Okay. Uh. Come on, guys. Get that stuff up and running. Oh, no. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Now it's flooded. Now the water is too high. Damn it. Um, cancel. So, if I have it here, here, and here, will that work? With the Wee's warts. Here, here, and here. Possibly. Uh, as long as it's not over the Wee's wart itself, it should be okay. I'm hoping that's the case, that it will be okay. But if not, then, yeah, kind of screwed there. Um, yeah. But I also need to get over here, because there's natural gas! There's actual natural gas! Unless it's just a random uh, duplicate that got stuck down there, and it's just been eating and munching away on pitcher plants, and has just farted itself into a massive gas cloud. If there's a massive corpse in here, just a single dead duplicate, then I know it's just burrito gas. Otherwise, we might have found a geyser. 
Uh, a wonderful, beautiful geyser. Oh. I'm just hoping I find it before we actually run out of metal to keep this fixed. Because holy crap. Okay, here we go. Temperature 76 to 203. There we go. So as long as it is between that temperature, it should be fine. Um, yeah, I wonder. If I put one right here, will it work? I don't know. That's the problem. I really don't know. Ugh. I had to actually physically come over here and dig out a bunch of iron just to make sure we had enough to keep this fixed. Holy crap! Look at this! We have another one! We have another natural gas geyser. In fact, this is a guaranteed natural gas geyser. Oh. Ooh. I wonder, should I go ahead and dig this out? Uh, is there any... Damn. No, that's not good. There is slime lung. Not good at all. And it's right next to it. It is right next to where I need to go. Ah, uh, no. Um, okay. Uh, it might be safer to go to the other one, but this one has five... Oh, five kilograms. Holy crap, that's a lot. 5k! Okay. All I need to do is break into right here. Break into all of that at high priority. Right there. High priority ladder. And... What's the temperature? Only 97, not too bad. And if I dig out all of this with a doorway right there, high priority dig out all of this and this, and then I can just have a pipe coming all the way through. Here we go. Just dig out. Everything right here. And there we go. And just a couple tiles. There. And prioritize everything at nine. There we go. There we go. If we can do this, I will be able to have a new gas pump. Pumping all of this gas, all this wonderful, beautiful gas, all the way out of here. The only question is, where do I want to pump it from? Um, yeah. Ew. Okay. That is the real question. Because I'm going to have to power everything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, so, if I have it, like, right here, uh, poop, that's not gonna work. If I have it, like, right here, maybe, with deconstruct and reconstruct this, assuming... I actually come over here and do it. Here we go. Boom. With a high priority power line coming from there to here to there. And a bridge. Boom. And a power line coming up. One, two, three, four. With another bridge coming right here. Right there. Right here. With all the lines. Connecting up to there. Connecting up to there. Canceling all this. And then running it all the way up. All the way over. With gas pipes 
where am I going to run the gas pipes? <laughs> I don't know. There might be other gases in there as well, which is a real concern. So, it might be worth it to run it all the way down. And over. So, where can I put it? If I, 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 it might be a good idea to have it coming straight into here. That way it can filter out all the other gases. So at a 9, connect all that up. And there. Uh, the only problem now is... How do I make sure this keeps running only when it wants to run? Um, isn't there like a power thing that turns it on and off? Thermal switch? It's, it's atmosphere it's automatically turns power on and off using ambient gas pressure. It does not affect circuitry preceding the switch. Hmm. So if I build one of these, does that mean that if it's above a certain temperature, a certain pressure in here, it'll come on? And it won't come on without it. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Hopefully. I'm hoping that's how that works. Because otherwise, I just wasted a little bit. Okay. And get all this up and running as well. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. I mean, if I can do that, if, th if that'll work, then I can actually build another one of these. In fact, it might be worth it to go ahead and build another one of these. In fact, I could build two more of these, possibly. Uh, you. Okay, that's not good. Um, let's go ahead and build one of this right here. And probably needing to build a little bit more gas. Oh. But yeah, if we can get this hooked up. So how's the gas pressure looking here? I mean, the carbon is not too high, which is nice. So, yeah, not too bad. Let's get some high priority on this. Oh, it's already at a nine. There we go. And now we just need a little bit of power line. There we go, at a high priority. And that should help out with our power problems. Uh, speaking of which, I also need to come down here and check this one out. Oh, ooh, ooh. here we go. Uproot this at a 9. And there's another one. There's another one. Let's uproot that one at a 9. And hopefully... Uh, let's see if we can get that planted. If we can get this planted... We'll be able to see if this is actually going to work. Or if it's just a horrible idea. Or if it would be better I better idea to actually... Put them into the water itself. Uh, I'm just hoping that they'll actually come up here and do this. At some point, they will actually come up there and get that running. At the very least, it looks like they're getting this stuff done. And since it's such a narrow little passage, only two or three people have to come over here at a time. Which is nice. And look at this. Look at this. A huge amount of natural gas. Ah, It's just right there. And I guess I should cancel that door lock. And instead have it high priority right here and right here. And then high priority dig. That way it'll be a double airlock, which is more important. That is so important, having a double airlock. Oh, look at this. Polluted water, a table. I really wish I could d build this stuff. But I can't. Um, and quite frankly, how is this 
fruit and stuff still so fresh. It looks like it's fresh. Like you just pick it out of that bowl and eat it, even though it's completely submerged in polluted water. Hell, just being submerged in uh, normal water would be uh, kind of detrimental to its freshness. Unless it's wax fruit. Is that wax fruit? Is it? Or is it plastic fruit? I don't know. I am curious. But I don't think I'm going to dig all the way up there just to get to it. Because it doesn't look like there's anything else up there. Um, what's the temperature like in here? Ew. Oh. And they still haven't come over here to plant this. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. There's two of them right there. High priority on this, please. Weezwort seeds. Get them before they plant themselves back down. Please, please do that. I don't want to have to uproot them again. Oh, look at this. We actually have enough natural gas being produced to keep all of these running even without the uh, extra flow. Holy crap. I did not realize that. So... This system down here is actually producing enough natural gas to keep everything flowing. Nice. Huh. Well, it's kind of working. It's enough to keep these th these four running. But it might actually it might have enough a little bit of overflow to keep the others running as well. Uh So, yeah, all in all not too bad. Not horrible, not great, not, but it's keeping the power running. And once I get this other natural gas geyser hooked up, there'll be an extra injection of natural gas. The only problem is, where will I put even more? Because I will need to have another one. So, yeah. In fact, it might be worth it to go ahead and build one more. At high priority. At high priority power lines and high priority gas lines coming in right here and right there. Because it doesn't look like the carbon dioxide coming through this pipe is overflowing the pipe. It still has plenty of volume that could be put through it. So that's not really a bottleneck right now. Uh, the only question is, will this stuff down here be enough to handle it? Because, yeah. It should be. Theoretically, this should be enough. Because it can take, it takes a thousand GS of water, gets rid of a th a 300 GS of carbon dioxide. And each one of these produces 82. So... How many do I have now? How many am I going to have? That's 8, 16, 32, 40, 400, 56. 56 to 600. So, between 56 and 600, uh, give or take. So, two of these should be plenty to handle all the volume of carbon dioxide being put in here. But with three of them, it should have no problem. Ah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. So, how does this look? It looks like it's almost done. We're working on the very last little bits. Um, hopefully we're working on the last little bits. And I really am worried about this switch. Because what I want to have happen is, I want to have this pump running non-stop until it runs out of natural gas. And once it runs out of natural gas, I want it to shut down. I don't want it just running when there's like 0.1 G. One gram, like microgram of gas. And it's just like very little particles in there. I want it to shut down and let the pressure build up again. So like anything below 25, 25 G of pressure, like right here. If it's this low, between this door, then I don't want it running at all. That's kind of pointless. Kind of a waste of power, to be honest. For that little bit of pressure to be drained out. Okay. It looks like the switch is done, at least. So, 
Current pressure is 5, 10 grams. If it activated if above 25. Anything above 25 grams of pressure, it will activate. Because right now there's only like 20 and 30 in here. It's kind of a vacuum, which is not good, but once it's vacuumed out in here, I do not want it to run at all. I want it to just shut down and then wait for it to repressurize. Oh. So right now we're just waiting for this. And unfortunately, this means they are getting infected with slime lung, which is not good. This is something I've been trying to avoid, but unfortunately this is just unavoidable. We have to get through here. We need this natural gas. We need the power it's going to be generating about getting it. Ah oh, yes, look, it's working. We are getting high amounts of natural gas flowing through. It's about to hit all the little bits of polluted oxygen and normal oxygen and carbon dioxide is getting dumped. Look at that, it's just getting dumped out of here, no problem. And now we have high volume. Look at those massive blocks, high volume. 100, 740 G of natural gas flowing through. Holy crap. Large blocks of natural gas, which means once it starts hitting this area, it should start filling up all of it. Boom, filled. Boom, filled. Boom. Ah, oh, yes. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, and it's already starting to back up. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Hell, I could actually build another one. I could literally build another friggin' generator over here somewhere. Hell, I could build more than one. Though, in hindsight, it's probably not a good idea. Uh. Ah. Because... Yeah, it's already low. The pressure in here is already starting to go down. Because the pressure right here is like 100. It's already a, it's already a vacuum right here. So, yeah. It's a thousand in here, but it's this temp this much in here. So, all in all not too bad. This will make sure it doesn't overpump. And it'll just keep the power coming on and off and on and off whenever it needs to. So, yeah. And if there's ever a problem with the power, I can just completely turn off this switch and just have it running constantly to draw all the natural gas out of here. Ugh. So, yeah, look at this. We have a constant full line of natural gas pumping through. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it lovely? And it, ju it, it just puts in perspective how little natural gas was actually being produced by this. I mean, this entire bank of fertilizers, fertilizer makers, was just producing so little in comparison to one natural gas geyser. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, of course, now that it is, now that the room has been drained, more or less, of all the natural gas, we have to sit and wait for the gas geyser to repressurize and start erupting again, which is kind of the problem. But, you know, it, having this as a backup to the natural gas geyser is nice. But it does mean, I think, maybe, just maybe, our power problems are no longer a problem. I mean, look at this. All of our batteries are full. These are filled. No one has to run in the hamster wheels anymore. Everyone is happy. Everyone is fine. Holy crap. Isn't this just wonderful? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? Ugh. This, this is just nice. I love that. Now the only problem becomes 
Um, the fact that the water pump is broken completely. Uh, the fact that the temperature... <laughs> holy crap! Why? Okay. Okay, fine. Let us... Uh, take... <laughs> I have to rebuild the damn water pump out of some other material. Uh, because we're out of metal that uses it. So, what... What am I supposed to do with this? Um... I, I honestly don't know. I'm confused as what I'm supposed to do. 